Hi guys. So here I am working on the Cub Cadet 1046. And I'm thinking the way I beat the crap out of this thing, I probably ought to be putting some trans hydraulic trans fluid in it. So what I did, let me get this out of here. What I did was I took the battery out. Get this fixed here. Took the battery out. Battery, there's a battery holder there. And it kind of exposes then the fan, the cooling fan. And then there's this black, you can see it down there. There's got a gray uh, overflow tank. I took a bracket off of the corner of that. That's this bracket right here. Had a little Elm, I think a T25 torque screw on it. Took that off, lifted that off, popped the uh, popped off that little gray tank, which which really fits down right onto right onto here. The tube goes inside this little black uh, orifice there and slides on and pushes on to here that little bracket with the torque screw screws it down that's that easy for access so this is the vent tube and what i'm doing is just filling it up with hydraulic fluid transmission hydraulic fluid same thing i put my transmission hydraulic fluid on my john deere it's, uh, tractor hydraulic fluid and it'll function the same way as a hydrostatic transmission and the reason i'm doing this <clears throat> is because this uh this uh axle this transaxle for this hydrostatic transmission is a no maintenance transmission it has no fill port you know uh, i i know that when it heats up and I'm running it, that the overflow tube is is working. It's you know dumping oil into that little gray plastic canister. That's fine, but I have some seal leaks on this gasket leaks, and I'm losing fluid. So what I'm going to do is use this, which I filled with the fluid. <clears throat> Stick it into the tube here, you know, pump it up, pull it out, let the air escape, pump it up, pull out the oil stem, let it the air escape until I get oil right to the top of this transaxle. You know, when the tube starts dumping oil out of it, when I put it down like this, put it down so it drains down and starts dripping oil, I know I'm full. And you know, then as it heats up and I run it and it expands, the oil can dump into the gray tank and that'll be fine. And at least I won't burn up my, my transaxle. So for those of you out there that have a, this is a 40, what is it, 1046 Cub Cadet. And you want to know how to get at that and how to fill it up. It's not hard. <laughs> I mean, anybody can do this. A little common sense and a couple tools. So I hope that helps you out. Saves you from trashing your machine. And so for now, we'll talk to you later.